train collision in South Carolina. Two people are dead and dozens more injured after an Amtrak train collided into a freight train early Sunday, the second deadly Amtrak crash in less than a week. The accident occurred in Casey, South Carolina, as Amtrak train 91 was traveling from New York to Miami with 139 passengers and nine crew members on board. Freight giant CSX managed tracks in the area, but had dispatchers manually routing trains since signal systems were down. Amtrak 91 was cleared to go straight down the main line. But the way the railroad switch was aligned meant the train was instead diverted into a side track where it crashed into a stationary freight train. The impact destroyed several freight cars and caused the Amtrak train to derail. Two crew members were killed and 116 passengers wounded in the collision. The National Transportation Safety Council is currently looking into the crash and will focus its investigation on why the rail switch was lined and locked toward the siding. So far, officials have recovered the front-facing video camera from the Amtrak train, but have been unable to retrieve the event data recorders from either train due to the catastrophic damage. Trouble on the tracks. Boston train travels through several stops without a driver. A Boston area commuter train blasted through several stations without a train conductor and had to be forced to come to a stop on Thursday morning. An MBTA red line train carrying about 50 passengers took off from Braintree Station without the train conductor on Thursday morning. The train conductor reportedly stepped out of the train to activate the bypass mode after reporting a signal problem. The bypass mode allows the train to operate without the regular signal clearance. The bypass mode requires the conductor to set two brakes before leaving the train, including the lever and a handbrake. It was not immediately clear if the conductor had done so. The train conductor was brushed by the train when it somehow took off on its own and then traveled through several stations until it was stopped at North Quincy Station after authorities cut power to the third rail. No passengers were hurt in the incident. The investigation is currently focused on operator error. Derailed train accelerated before it went off the tracks. Officials say that Amtrak train 188 accelerated significantly as it approached the Frankfurt Junction curve. Amtrak's Northeast Regional Train 188 derailed Tuesday night in Philadelphia while en route from Washington, D.C. to New York, carrying 238 passengers and five crew members. A National Transportation Safety Board official says the train's forward-facing camera shows that 65 seconds before the crash, the train speed was 70 miles per hour. 43 seconds before the crash, it was more than 80 miles per hour. 31 seconds before the crash, the train reached 90 miles per hour. And 16 seconds before the end of the recording, the train was traveling more than 100 miles per hour. The official said the Amtrak engineer slammed on the emergency brakes in the seconds before the train reached the bend in the track near Frankfurt Junction, slowing the locomotive from 106 miles per hour to 102. The train went off the tracks at a point where a 70 mile per hour stretch turns into a 50 mile per hour curve. All seven train cars derailed and the first car, which separated from the rest, was completely wrecked. It is unclear whether the engineer, identified as 32-year-old Brandon Bastien, had accelerated the train manually. Three killed and dozens injured in fatal Belgian train crash. Eastern Belgium was the scene of a fatal train crash last weekend that saw three people killed and scores injured. Three people lost their lives and 40 were wounded in a Sunday night train collision in the Belgian district of saint georges sur amouze A passenger train transporting 40 people was traveling at around 90 kilometers per hour at around 11 p.m. The train had six carriages in tow. Officials say a freight train was traveling ahead of it on the same track. The passenger train then crashed into the rear of the freight train with the impact derailing two passenger carriages. Earlier lightning strikes on installations near the tracks had reportedly caused signal problems in the area prior to the accident. But Belgian rail operator SNCB says this was resolved. The investigation into the cause of the crash is ongoing. Amtrak train derails near Seattle. Several are dead and many more injured after a train on a new Amtrak service route derailed in Washington. On Monday morning, Amtrak train number 501 was on its inaugural run from Seattle to Portland with 77 passengers and seven crew members on board. While approaching a curved overpass, the lead engine ran off the track and sent passenger coaches tumbling onto Interstate 5 below. 
The derailed cars crashed onto several vehicles on the road, while one was left dangling over the highway. The Washington State Patrol confirmed at least three are dead and 100 injured. Passengers say they felt a wobble before suddenly being catapulted forward. Some had to kick out the windows to escape, since the emergency doors didn't work properly. It has yet to be determined if the crash was due to speed, but the train was reportedly not using positive train control technology, which automatically slows trains exceeding speed limits. Washington Governor Jay Inslee declared a state of emergency following the deadly derailment, while Amtrak temporarily suspended service south of Seattle.